Hey everyone, Tim from vMix here and in this video today, I'm gonna to go over how you can use your vMix video and audio in external programs and browser-based applications. So this is really good for things like Zoom, Teams, Skype, or different video conferencing software or browser-based video calling if you wanted to uh, bring in your vMix production. Now we can do this easily by using an application called the New Tech NDI Virtual Input. This app allows us to connect our vMix video and audio and then use it in programs like Skype, Zoom, and browser-based video applications. The reason we recommend using this is that the NDI Virtual Input uses a driver. And that's been around for a very long time. It's tried and tested, and it's going to pretty much work with any program that you want to use it with. Now you can use the external video output from vMix and a virtual audio cable, but that will take a little bit more configuration and may not work in every single program. So if you are looking for a way to add your video call back into vMix, check out the description where you'll find some videos on how to create productions with Zoom, Skype, and Teams video. To get started, you will need to install Nutex NDI Tools Pack. Now you can check out the link in the description for the download. Now you can choose to install all of the NDI tools or just the NDI virtual input if you want to. Now I'm going to jump down into my vMix production here. Now the reason that people want to send out their production via different video programs and applications is so they can build an awesome production in vMix and then have that as their representation. So instead of just a dodgy webcam, they can build an awesome production with a professional cinema camera, microphone, uh, titles, all sorts of stuff, video files, audio, all sorts of crazy thing that you would build for a normal production. You can use that as your video call. So as you can see here, I've got a production here ready to go that I want to be able to send to my video calling system. So I want people to be able to see that. Now I'm using Skype today, but it will work in any sort of video calling or video output program that you want to use it in. So I need to determine what I'm going to be sending my Skype call. So I need to go into my vMix settings and set up my NDI output. So I can do that by going to settings, then going to output slash NDI slash SRT. Now the first output that you have here will be your main production output. So what you've got in this right window here. So as you can see, I've got output one, the source is my output. Then I've got an NDI option here. So I wanna make sure that I turn NDI on. So make sure that that is green and NDI is on. So by default, if you're building a production to send to a video call, you wanna include your production video and you wanna include your master audio. So by default, if you go into this gear here and see the audio channels, it will be set up to master by default. Now you can change this to a different bus if you wanted to, but most of the time you're going to be using your master audio because that is what you're going to be creating in your production, your microphone, your audio files, all that kind of stuff. And that's what you want to send your video call. So once you've set that up, output is got your NDI on. You can also choose whether you want to send all of your overlays. Again, if you're building a full production, chances are you want to make sure that all of these overlays are on. So I'm going to click OK down the bottom. All right, so now we need to run the NDI virtual input. So I'm just going to search for that virtual input. Here it is here. And once selected, it will appear in your task tray down the bottom in the right hand corner here. Now, if I right click on this, it's going to then bring up a menu and give me the ability to connect any of my NDI sources on my network to the virtual input. So what I'm gonna do is select my computer, which is this guy here, this is Beacon. I'm going to select it. And then as I mentioned before, we chose output one to send our production in. So I'm going to make sure that is selected as output one. So now I have my NDI virtual input connected from vMix and now I can use it in Skype. So now you need to open up your program of choice, whatever you want to be able to connect your vMix production to. So I've got Skype here today and I'm gonna go into the settings here and then I'm gonna go down to audio and video. So now this is going to give me the option to choose what my camera and what my microphone is. Now each of these settings are gonna be different in every program or browser that you're going to use. So what I need to do is go in here and select New Tech NDI video. So this is going to be the same no matter what program you're using. So you need to select New Tech NDI video here. Now this can take a little bit to populate. Um, as you can see, it's available now. It's, it's all uh, my videos here ready to go. So as you can see, if I go ahead and 
start adding production elements to it, they'll come through. I start playing my video file, that will come through as well. So that's my video ready to go. That's my main production, it's being sent out to Skype. So now I'm gonna go down here to my microphone and for the microphone, I will need to select line, new tech NDI audio. So I've selected that. Now, as you can see, as I talk, when I stopped, the audio stopped coming through. So this is grabbing the audio from my master in my vMix production. So that's my microphone and that is good to go. So those are the things you need to remember. For the microphone, select line, new tech NDI audio. And for the camera, select new tech NDI video. So once that's done, you've successfully connected up your vMix production and close that down. Then you can start making calls and use your vMix production as your call. So keep in mind that it is going to be best to wear headphones so that you don't have any sort of audio spill back from your computer into your microphone, into vMix, and then back out to Skype as well. So you wanna just make sure you don't have any echoes. So make sure that you use headphones for that, but you can go ahead and create a full vMix production and then use that as your video call in whatever program you choose to use. So that's how you can use the NDI virtual input to connect your vMix video and audio to heaps of different programs and web-based video applications. It's a really simple way to do it. As I mentioned before, the driver has been around for a long time, so it's going to work with pretty much everything you can throw at it, and it's really simple to set up. If you do have any questions about this, please send us through an email. Unsurprisingly, it's very difficult to diagnose issues through YouTube comments, as we have no idea what system you're using, what buttons you've ticked, and we can't do any diagnostic reports from YouTube comments. So we do have a support page on vmix.com where you can fill out your information. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.